Hi everyone. Today we take up a new question in the topic of ship stability. This question is also from Captain Subramaniam's ship stability book, the Nutshell series. This is question number 18 from exercise 11 and this refers to list calculation on vessels. Now I've been getting all these requests from the subscribers. So I thought I will make a video on this question here. So a lot of you asked me to make videos on different questions. I try my best to fulfill all the requests. And here is the request of one of the subscribers. All right. So let's start with the question here. Uh, if you have the book, you can refer to the book. Otherwise, uh, this is an unsolved question from the book. It will help you to uh, see the solution and understand how to solve similar questions in the exam. So there is a ship that is displacing 12,000 tons. And uh, that is the displacement, of course. It has a km of 9 meter, kg of 7.25. You have a 200 ton heavy lift cargo which is to be loaded by the ship's jumbo derrick whose head is 24 meters above the keel. Now all this information is very important because uh, I have been telling you guys that whenever there is any cargo operation loading or discharging you have to understand the vertical shift of the cargo uh, to understand how the center of gravity will move upwards or downwards and also you have to understand the transfer shift of the cargo to calculate the listing movement or the resultant list all right so the first thing you have to find out in this question is the list as soon as the derrick takes the or rather picks up the weight i don't understand why there is takes and picks picks up the weight from the wharf on the starboard side with an outreach of 15 meters and secondly you have to understand the list when the weight is placed on the upper deck 7 meters to starboard of the center line. So you can see here the question will always provide you with some information regarding the vertical shift in the center of gravity and the transverse shift of the cargo. So I always start my stability questions by summarizing what is given to me and finding out what I can from the information given to me. So we have the ship's displacement as 12,000 tons. We have the km of the vessel as 9 meters. Kg is 7.25 meters now if km in kg is given to me i can find out my initial gm by subtracting kg from km so i get my gm 1.75 meters this is of course not given to me but if i have km and i have kg i can find it out and then you have the weight to be discharged which or rather weight to be loaded not discharged to be loaded right as 200 tons and this is a heavy lift cargo as you can see the by the weight itself it's a heavy lift cargo so as soon as you lift a cargo the vessel will definitely start to list because it's so heavy right now the vest the cargo is initially as we understand it's uh, you can see we have to first calculate the list as soon as the derrick picks up the weight from the wharf on the starboard side with an outreach of 15 meters so and this outreach of 15 meters is from the center line so this has been on the starboard side this is the center line this is 15 meters the cargo is now hanging off the derrick here and this is on the starboard side of the vessel so when the, such a heavy lift cargo is being hanging off naturally the list will be to starboard that goes without saying that is common sense and the vertical height right now is 24 meters above the keel and the current kg is 7.25 meters right so what will be the shift in the center of gravity of the vessel now of course as soon as the cargo is picked up the off the wharf and now the cargo is hanging here the center of gravity will also shift towards the direction of the cargo because the cargo has been picked up the weight of the cargo is now acting on the vessel the displacement of the vessel will also change and so will the shift in the center of gravity move upwards so you can see the formula for gg1 what is gg1 gg1 is the shift in the center of gravity so g1 will shift upwards somewhere here that's why it's called gg1 and we have to calculate by how much distance vertically will the center of gravity now shift upwards because the cargo is hanging off the derrick so the formula is w by d w is the weight which is 200 tons in this car case d is the vertical shift in the distance of uh, cargo movement so cargo has moved from uh, so center of gravity is uh, 7.25 cargo is now hanging off 24 meters off the keel so the distance moved is 24 minus 7.25 which will be equal to 16.75 meters 
and then we have the displacement we can call it displacement here or here displacement initial given to us is 12,000 tons right but now as soon as we pick up the cargo the new displacement new W or triangle whatever is the symbol you are trying to use is 12,000 So as soon as you pick up the cargo using the ship's derrick, the cargo's weight is now acting on the ship's derrick as well as the ship. So of course the displacement of the vessel will change. So don't think just because the cargo has not been placed on the ship, the displacement will not change. As soon as the cargo's uh, or the ship's derrick has now picked up the cargo, the weight of the cargo is now acting on the ship structure. So you will change the displacement every time, right? So we can find out the shift in the center of gravity GG1 by multiplying the weight by the distance moved vertically by center of gravity from 7.25 now the center of gravity has shifted upwards uh, all the way to the head of the derrick so that is divided by the new displacement will give you 0.279 meters so g1 gg1 is 2.279 meters that means now the gm has also reduced so the gm from this uh, so gm is now reduced and the new gm is actually g1m right so gm the new gm will reduce by the same amount so 1.75 meters was the initial gm initial gm and now because g1 or gg1 has shifted upwards the center of gravity shifted upwards this will be subtracted and we have the new gm as 1.47 meters correct this is the new gm so tan theta which is tan of list in the first case when the cargo is been picked up by the ship static and it is now hanging off the starboard side of the center line is calculated by dw which is the transverse shift in the cargo where d is the transverse movement of the cargo and w is the weight lifted so the weight lifted as you know is 200 what is the transverse movement so as you probably know the question is given to you that the transverse movement has been 15 meters of the center line this value here 15 meters of the center line is given to you so the cargo has moved 15 meters of the center line so this is d here and divided by the displacement new displacement is 12200 multiplied by the new gm here right so that will give you tan theta equals 0 0.16728 take tan to the other side this becomes tan inverse tan inverse of this value will give you the list of 9.4 degrees and that will be to starboard now we have we already know that because the cargo is hanging on the starboard side such a heavy cargo hanging on the starboard side will create a list on the starboard side but naturally now in the second part of the question you have to find the ship's list when the weight is placed on the upper deck kg 10 meters and 7 meters to starboard of the center line so uh, now it's uh, slightly changing the situation has changed now so let me show you uh, what will be the new uh, movement in the vertical movement of the cargo so let's let's get rid of some of this stuff all right so now let me show you what has happened here so now the cargo has been placed on the upper deck it has been placed here so from here to here so initially the distance was 24 meters and now cargo has been placed on the upper deck where the kg is 10 meters so kg is 10 meters so what has been the vertical movement of the cargo the vertical movement has been from the ship's head to the upper deck so 24 minus 10 so that's why d in this case the vertical shift in the center of gravity will be d or other let's call it the you know um, overall center of uh, the movement center of gravity of the cargo that's what we have to say so d is the vertical shift in the center of gravity of the cargo is 24 minus 10 which is 14 meters all right now as soon the cargo goes down it is placed here now this has been placed uh, seven meters to starboard of center line so this distance here is seven meters to starboard of center line so that is used for calculating the transverse movement of the cargo to get the listing movement all right so we have found out both we have found out the vertical movement as well as the final movement but now the cargo as you see has been placed on the upper deck but it has come down from the ship's head derrick head right so that means the vertical center of gravity of the ship now will shift downwards because as the cargo is placed downwards it will shift downwards so gg1 will change again and this time it will be acting downwards so when we go back here and we are trying to find gg1 gg1 has shifted downwards by how much 14 by 200 so the formula remember the formula i told you is 
uh, W by D by displacement. So W is of course the weight which is 200 and D is the vertical shift in the center of gravity of the cargo divided by the displacement which is 12,200. The cargo is now on deck and naturally the displacement will change so that GG1 is 0 0.23 meters. So that means if I go back to the drawing here, I have to get rid of my old GG1 or rather G1 and now I have to place it down here GG1. So GM has also increased, GM has also increased now. All right, because the center of gravity is shift downwards 0.23 meters so therefore your gm which was 1.48 will now increase by 0.23 becoming 1.71 meters and tan theta which is tan of list is equal to 7 by 200 divided by 12200 multiplied by 1.71 which is the new gm 7 is of course the transverse movement of the cargo remember that transverse movement of the cargo so i told you this is the transverse movement divided by 12200 multiplied by 1.71 which is the gm this is the displacement of course will give you a list of 3.84 degrees to starboard all right so that is the solution here i hope you understood the solution you basically have to focus on the vertical shift in the center of gravity of the vessel as well as the horizontal movement the transverse movement of the cargo and how it causes a listing movement let me know how what you thought about the solution and whether you understood how to solve the question or not and i look forward to your feedback and comments guys um, thank you for watching thank you for supporting the all right before i go i thought i'll just uh, clear up one concept here about uh, the shift in the center of gravity by showing you a slightly bigger diagram because i think uh, there's something i didn't show you correctly here so remember the original kg here right so sorry that's not k that's uh, g so original uh, kg so this is k and this is g and this is m right so the original kg was given to us as 7.25 meters right this is 7.25 meters and then the center of gravity shifted upwards by in the first part it shifted upwards by 0.279 right so it shifted upwards by 0.279 meters this became g1 right so your initial gm your initial gm that was uh, your initial gm that was 1.75 meters then i reduced it i reduced 1.75 meters by 0.279 making the new gm 1.47 meters right because it shifted upwards by 0.279 so this new gm the gm which was 1.75 meters reduced and became g1m and this became 1.47 meters correct all right this will happen when the cargo was shift on hanging on the starboard side of the uh, ship of course but it was hanging off the derrick now when the cargo was placed on the upper derrick or upper deck rather what happened there is that the it's just a small thing i wanted to show you because i thought that it will make it a slightly clearer so what happens here is that let's say i focus on this part here this is g and this is m and this was a g1 right now the g1 shifted upwards by 0.279 meters now when the cargo was placed on the upper deck the g shifted downwards by 0.23 meters so g shifted g1 rather shifted downwards by 0.23 meters right now 0.23 is lesser than 0.279 so although g1 shifted downwards g1 would still be above g although it shifted downwards but you have to remember that the gm g1m rather which was 1.47 or 1.48 meters rather will become more by this distance here so you will add 0.23 to 1.48 making the new g1m which we have taken as 1.71 meters the only thing incorrectly that i showed you previously was that i shifted g1 below g but it will not be so it will still be above g but the G, G1M or GM will definitely increase. So I just thought there might be some doubt with you guys about uh, shifting of the center of gravity. So...